Hello, 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 folks. This is Rauf here, and today I'll be demonstrating a very useful, multi-featured, a feature-rich application. I must say, which is called. What you want? Recent apps. Advanced tech freedom. Yep, you heard it right. It's tech freedom, and this application is available on Play Store as well. You can go and easily search for it. But since I was already having it, so and I often use this application, and I've opened it recently. Also, so it was there in my recent menu. So I'll be opening it from there only. So double click on this application to open. Let's see how does our phone screen look like when we open this application. But before that, I'd like to tell you that I told you earlier that it's a multi-featured app. It contains a lot of stuff, but we won't be talking about that much. You know all the features, right? So we'll be focusing. On a few features, specifically the two features, the cache reader one and the image reader, right? And I'll tell you what are the other remaining features which are important, but we won't be talking about those features in detail, right? So let's see how does our screen look like when we open this application. So here we go. Open navigation door. Text freedom contains yeah. text. So open navigation door. On the top left corner of your phone screen, you'll find this up uh, option. Called open navigation drawer, and underneath, logo of text freedom contains text. Yes. There's this logo of this application. There's the logo of this application. So now, how I'm navigating through this application? Either you can explore by touch, or you can swipe. It works either way, right? So I'm exploring by touch. I'll swipe as well, right? I'll be going both ways. So underneath, there's this logo, welcome, and welcome, text, text, welcome sign, favorite. and the favorite features. So if you added some, if you have added some favorite features, those favorite features will appear here, right? Now we have to focus on our demonstration. Main part, the main segment of uh, our demonstration will begin here, which is about the cache reader and the image reader. Cache reader. So as the name suggests, cache reader is um, feature is. Um, there in this application to identify the currency to recognize the currency right let's assume you know say i have i have to find out a 10 rupee note and i have a 100 rupee note a 15 rupee, rupee note but i need a 10 rupee note let's assume. so let's see whether it it is able to identify our currency or not so i have some indian currency with me let's see i'll so i'm placing this uh, currency in front of um the camera camera premium 100 rupee yeah so it is vibrating when it vibrates that is the indication that it has recognized the uh, recognized the currency right so it says it's a 100 rupee note and indeed it is a 100 rupee note but what were we looking for it was 10 rupee note so let's find out again it vibrates so it means 50 rupee this one is 50 rupee note you are getting it what i'm what i'm doing right what what is being uh, done here we are putting we are keeping our currency in front of the camera and it vibrates so that is the signal that note has been identified our currency has been yeah here it is here's the 10 rupee so this is how this currency you know wala feature works right document reader cash reader this cash reader feature works now the another feature reader, i wanted to talk about was this image reader. image reader now i'm swiping here and i'm i'll double click to open this image image reader. so what does this image reader feature uh, you know contain what all the options are there read and read, capture, read, pick image. what are the options there this is option called pick image which it seems that this option will be there to you know choose an image choose a file from our gallery from our you know drive or say internal storage so let's see uh, let's take this take this for take this and process this image so i've randomly chosen an image from my recent file this screenshot is about check what i was writing about the soviet it's very correct, right? It's it, you know, it scans very accurately, right? If you will ask someone, this screenshot contains that only, and it has, you know, 
that spoken that it has you know scanned that and it's very good another option which i wanted to explore is handwritten text what is this hand so uh, let's see i have uh, i have my cousin's notes with me these are the sociology notes so let's see what she has written i'll double click on this hand no not this hand. double click on this uh, handwritten one and there appears there will an option will appear there capture so you you need to capture a shot um, we need to capture a photo so while capturing an image we need to be very careful we need to be one has to be mindful of the fact we are holding our phone uh, in a right in a proper manner right right so that is capture you know we need to be careful of capture so make sure you are uh, holding your phone in a in an appropriate manner otherwise this feature won't be that useful right yeah so here i i'm clicking on this capture image option processing it has captured a Im an image and it is processing let's see what they have written in their sociology notes processing image info image yeah. processed successfully image info more options image text ask made oh theory society t is need ion oval bound and twenty conflict theory theory page identified children are audit foe at the city asked was is not going to school and receiving at f on once a child starts it and at that first go effects of the education itself child going the kinderg the silver ups with their hours a day the child is taken care of for free and establishment of peer school mates children's mates bonds and friends because of education and knowledge students keep out themselves the students school authorities full time of labor force and also helps g3 you know it's about some theory and you know it has i think in my opinion it's decent right so it depends on um, a lot of things a lot of uh, factors you know uh, the way you hold your uh, your phone to take uh, you know uh, take a shot right it depends on that also it depends on the light also my hand is quite you know shaky so shivers a lot so that, that's the thing so that is the thing um but it works pretty well in my opinion i think it's useful it's fine remember that it was a handwritten text right so that is the thing so these this is how these uh, two features work apart from that it has a lot of other features as well. let's see i'll tell you where you can find these features open navigation door i told you that you'll find on the top left corner of your screen this open navigation drawer and then features profile settings all these options will appear after clicking on this navigation drawer one but we have to find the features so we'll click on the features so what are the features this one is to back up your app data this one is to trim or merge your audios we have discussed about that document converter this one converts pdf into um, txt and vice versa but it has a limitation that it does not converts but png or jpeg image files into and other you know formats into uh, pdf it only converts txt into pdf or vice versa document reader document reader this one you know reads the document document saver document saver you can create your own document and uh, save that in either in pdf or txt image reader image reader instant reader talked about that instant reader link saver link saver you can save your own links my player my player it has its own uh, multimedia player my friends player notepad notepad you can you know take notes password saver password saver pdf reader pdf reader text translator text translator video editor video editor you can trim or merge or convert video into audio right voice recorder it has its own voice recorder voice of ITTS. and voice if i tts i love this one man uh, because you know to be honest i am using it right now and it works really well with our android right so this one is a tts and i in my opinion it's a very good alternative for auto tts you do not need auto tts after installing this uh, tech freedom app and after using this voiceify tts so that is it reasons i hope you like oh i was on the screen recorder i was on the screen recorder there is on the screen recorder some sense there is on thank you videos 
Open door. Record. 1229. Record. 